we're ready for game two here in Salt Lake City. Right away, I want to see what they're going to run for Blackshear. This, this team right here, they're able to play with a really, really big point guard. Blackshear at 6'6". Six, six. There's a matchup problem. You don't see many point guards that big, right? Nope. Here's Holmes. Dropping it off to Coleman. Coleman's going to try three. And got it off the window. Nice way to start. That's a nice three by Brea. And then Brea gets the steal. And you got to watch where Brea is. This is the nation's best three-point shooter. But oh, no, need to, no need for threes when you got Holmes at the basket. What up, Holmes? <laughs> Bad shot off the side of the backboard. Yeah, really tough shot. And they play a lot of offense through him. Even though he's the point guard, he spends a lot of time on the low block, taking advantage of his size. Home trying to back in, in some traffic. And they're going to call it a kickball or a foul? No, well, it's going to be a foul. You see the steal by Brea. The look ahead and Brea with the hockey assist in the homes. Throws the dunk down, down the middle. Out. Rebound to Lucas. Their leading score cut off on the baseline. Back out on top. Three won't go for Davidson. A lot of traffic in that spot. Here's a step back three. Airmail to the backside. Holmes is. Improved on that. He's way, made, way, way more threes this season than he has in the past, but that one obviously not a good one. Atlanta still looking for their first points, and they get it on the inside from Nick Davidson. Holmes inside again. He's setting the screen right now. They got him on the seal if they want him. High low action. It is. That's excellent. Excellent patience. Holmes sealed low. Understood he didn't have the angle. Quick ball reversal. He reversed his position. Easy work inside. Flyers with some full court pressure. And it ended up paying off in the front court. Give it right back, however. And now ahead. Davidson with a flush. And off to a quick start. He has their four points. Drive inside. Oh, man, nice move by Enoch Cheeks. Wow. What English he had to put on that one. The reverse. Excellent hand eye coordination. Got a look. There's the open three in the corner. Trey Coleman. Take a look from our AT&T connected cam. Deron Holmes is going to have a high percentage field goal percentage, that is, today, if they keep feeding him in there. And like I said, he, he leveraged the defender on one side. And as soon as the ball reversed, he quickly sealed, and it was an easy layup. That's excellent footwork. A loose ball layup. Cheeks aggressive early on with two good drives. 
Myers with a stay, at least with some one man pressure in the backcourt. Lucas yet to score. In deep, left hand. Trey Coleman has got five. Cuts the lead to two. Got the screen from Holmes, but couldn't connect on the three pointer. Go for offense. Black here now on the perimeter. Now that's not where he wants to be. He's only hit five threes on the season, but this is what he does well. He posts up smaller point guards, gets to that mid post, and he is real comfortable doing that. And he ties it at 11. I mean, what a luxury to have a point guard that you can run offense through through the post and get a good shot for it at any time. Steve Alford told us yesterday they put a little guy on him, they're in trouble. They put a big guy on him, it opens somebody else up. If things go their way, did there to get back to a tie game. Being on the floor with him, he's been a role model to me. I guess we'll find out which one of them is mentoring the other today. <laughs> Duran had a good year, Arizona at the free throw line, 71% free throw shooter, co-player of the year in the A-10, and defensive player of the year in the Atlantic 10, and drills both free throws. Yeah, it really has a well-rounded game. We saw what he's been able to do on the low block. He saw the quick spin earlier, the footwork inside with the seals. And now that he can hit that three, now he can extend his game to the perimeter, and that opens up more driving angles for his teammates. If yep. big can shoot that three, that's huge. Javon Bennett, smallest guy on the floor, gets a rebound. He just checked in. He's normally their starter at the point, but they started Kobe Brea instead today. And... Peaks almost lost the handle, and now they do turn it over. Nice drive by Cheeks. Big fella brought that thing down. That's a cardinal sin. When you're a big fella, you got to keep it up high. Can't let those little fellas get in there, Brandon, and get the <laughs> smack it away. Those pesky little fellas. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download now to stay up to date on all the action. Isaac Jack picked up the foul for the Flyers. Six minutes in, 13-11, Dayton. Let's see if we can get Lucas going right here, averaging 18 points per game, but he's the type of guy that plays well off the ball, doesn't get a lot of it off the dribble. He knows his spots, comes off of 10 down screens, excellent. Santos, long runner off the window, no foul. Rebound off to the Wolfpack. And with Foster in the lineup right now for Nevada. Lucas has yet to score. Black here, got it. He, I mean, when, when you're that side, it's easy for you. And you can even just tell by the look on his face after you hit this shot. Like, this is just what I do. Mid-range stuff. got about an eight inch advantage right now on Javon Bennett at the point guard position almost an over and back that's a look for him to keep going to that matchup Bennett's gonna launch one that might be the reason why Bennett didn't get the start didn't like that matchup with Bennett trying to match up with black sheep yep. that's exactly what Steve Alford was talking about but if they put Bennett on him we're gonna post him up here's a catch and shoot by Lucas kept alive offensive glass Davidson now wheels nice. underneath. Great footwork right there. Set him up to the middle, real quick dribble, then the spin on the baseline and use his body to get strong to the other side. Isaac Jack's going to pick up his second foul. Right there. Here's Keenan Blackshear just at the free throw line said, yeah, that's more my game. Yeah, and it's just an easy, it's just an easy scenario for him. Keep talking about it. You don't see many point guards in college basketball with his size and ability to score. That's what most teams that play inside out, they play inside out through their bigs, not yep. inside out through their point guard. Right. <laughs> Davis.
Davidson's second of two goes. He's got five. And Nevada's got its first lead. Move in the lane. Maybe a little, a little too good of a move. Too good of a move. Too good of a move. Let's see what Nevada comes out with right now. Blackshear calmly and confidently coming up the court. We got a field goal drop going on right now. And he wants it back. Blackshear wants it back. He liked the matchup. Davidson thought about a three. Tough move inside, no finish. Rebound off to the Flyers. Kobe Elvis. Elvis. Has to give it up. You see the attention as soon as Bray catches the ball, the defenders are up. You shoot 49 percent from three. That's what tends to happen to you. Yeah. Here's Holmes. Long pass underneath to the little guy. Devon Bennett's first basket. Dayton pass back in front. Him. Great pass by Holmes. Is there anything this big fella can't do? I don't know. It looked like it was a hook shot coming in instead of a hook pass, and it was a beauty. Lucas, long shot, three, no good. Calling for it again and gets it again. And Ben has to cut off the top right there. Black Shear sitting right in Holmes's lap. Fade away. <laughs> and he got it to go. It didn't really matter, but that's something the coaching staff has to look at. When they throw in the ball, they're sagging all the way off of Bennett. Have Bennett either cut through to the other side or use Bennett to set a screen on the weak side to get somebody open. Do not allow him to sit in Holmes's lap. Dayton back up by three. Inside, Daniel Foster, his first basket. Tough bucket right there. That's his definition of taking a basket. Wasn't much there, but yeah. he found a way. Midway first half. The Flyers 17, Nevada 16. Holmes calling for it again. Bennett can't quite get it to now Right now, Bennett's got to cut. See, Bennett's, Bennett's staying there. They're not, and he's too far out. And that allows a double team. Got the offensive rebound, though. Now he's got one man on him. And better shot. Not as good a result. He was with Anthony Grant as a player for the Flyers. He told me yesterday it was 40 years ago in the West region. They played here in Salt Lake. They played at the University of Utah. They didn't play in the building we're in. But uh, they got hot. They beat LSU. They beat Wayman Tisdale in Oklahoma. They beat Detlef Shrimp in Washington. Oh, wow. Then he said, then we ran into this guy named Ewing at Georgetown, and that was the end of our magic run. And hey, that guy turned out to be pretty good, huh? Yeah, it did. He turned, he turned out to be, be pretty right. good. But it's got to be pretty cool. He was a freshman on this team. Three-pointer from the corner. Won't go. Strong offensive rebound with a block shot underneath. They might have another opportunity. As the Wolfpack hitting the offensive glass. Anthony Grant wants a traveling call. And the official's going to walk Coach back to his spot. Anthony Grant will get the traveling call. A great work by the Wolfpack all over the glass. Extra effort and energy. That's what the tournament's all about. Elvis, Ooh, that Washington was nasty. Yes, indeed. And he drew the foul on the inside. That's impressive. It is. That list is pretty short. Yeah, one of only four coaches to do so. Yeah. 
Step back three by Elvis. That's a smart play right there by Grant. Sending the double team. Moving around the perimeter, trying to get it into Himes, and he got bumped from behind by Elvis. KJ Himes had the height advantage in that situation. Go back. Going to substitute, get Lucas back out there again. He has not scored yet. Well, we only have eight minutes and 14 seconds left in the half. I'd like to get him going. There's a left-hand hook that rolls out from Davidson. Great hustle there by Bennett. Bennett keeps it alive. Holmes working inside. He wants the ball. Throw it back up top. By the shoot, it's going to be Bennett, and he buries a three. Big time shot. Wolfpack playing excellent defense, but Bennett with the shot make at the end. Flyers in front by four. Now the Flyers go to a little bit of his own, look like a 1-3-1. One, one. Time to switch up the tempo a little bit, see if they can make the Wolfpack a little bit stacked. Maybe would have been a little saltier with how he said it. <laughs> so we'll see if they can turn their defense up. This team prides itself on defense. Scrappy team. That's their identity. They are 22 and 1 when they hold their opponents under 70 points. The opposition averages only 68 a game. Excellent defense right there. Coleman switched up to the top, taking away Santos. Cross court pass over to Elvis on the drive. Rebound off to the old pack. Let's see if they can draw something up for Lucas. Maybe a pin down screen, baseline screen, something to get their leading score, The Rock. The nice spin move, but no finish. Tylen Pope. I'm dating. I'm letting Holmes touch this thing after the screen and roll. I'm dropping it right back inside. Gonna be Elvis for three. Got him. His first basket is a three pointer. His 46th of the year, and it gives his team a seven point lead. You see Dayton drop right back into the 1 3 1. Nevada, not, not a lot of motion, not a lot of movement right now, but Coleman sees opening, but excellent block by Cheeks. Tournament summary, Colorado State and Colorado advance in the first four, good for that state. Duquesne first tournament win in a long time. And Sparty, Michigan State won in game one. Oh, Izzo just finds a way, doesn't he? He does. It's, it's his time of year. And you play your Tar Heels on Saturday. Well, I guess that's the end of the run for Izzo. <laughs> Long three in and out. And a whistle on the rebound. Foul underneath. Is that on Isaac Jack? That's his third. So he's coming out. Well, they might leave him in. Well, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, he's not going to play big minutes, so. He picks up his four. He just picks up his four. Last year, all the way. I mean, the more and more I watch this young man, the more and more I'm impressed. He plays at his own pace, super confident. Understands when it's time to score or make the pass. 15 points per game to go along with five assists. Just when you said that, he put the palms down to his teammates as if say, we're doing fine. Let's just keep playing. 
You always need that team leader, that guy that can be a, a calming influence on your squad. Yeah. You see Jack get the ball inside, and that's why they left him. In. Yeah, they knew he was going to score. They knew the big fella had some had some work to do that night. Five minutes to play first half. Flyers in his zone. Did the Nevada shoot him out of it? Coleman, maybe. That's his second three of the first half. Coleman known for his defense, but getting it going offensively with two threes in his half. Elite defender for Coleman. Back to back, all Mountain West defensive team. Yep. Santos going to back his way in. Okay. That's offensive foul. And he backed too far. And he didn't need it. Coleman, he had Lucas on him. All he had to do was drop step and get right into his shot. Use the all form. And that's why we had the foul. Look right here on the spin. You don't need that. All. Yep. You already got Lucas down there on the block. You have the size advantage. Just go up and power through him. You don't need that extra bump. So he'll sit. Dayton, some early foul trouble, especially Jack. And that's two on Santos, and that might be it for this half. We'll have to wait and see. They are all over Luke. Look at Bennett chasing him around every single screen. And I'll tell you what, you ask any Hooper, that's the hardest guy to go with. And Lucas finally scores. We see Lucas get a little step back. But the hardest guy to guard is not the guy with a thousand dribble moves. It's the guy that's constant motion moving on and off the ball. So it took until 345 and a half for the leading score for the Wolfpack to hit one. And in doing so, cuts it down to a two-point game. Brea, step back, three. Not this time. Davidson, the rebound. Blackshear, a chance to tie it. He'll have to earn it at the free throw line. Looks and determined. That's what it's all about. Sometimes it's going to be guys that you don't expect to have those big points, and they can help sustain a team until your big time guys get going. That's kind of what's happening now with Coleman scoring eight and Lucas only with two. Nevada on a 5 0 run, trying to stretch it here with Thin and Blackshear from the free throw line. And got it to go. Seven points here in the first half. Moved to point guard last year due to an injury to the guy that would have been their starting point guard. And it worked out pretty well for him. You think? You might recognize him if you look real close at his face because his brother played at Virginia Tech. They look exactly like him. The Wolfpack's going to have a chance to lead again if they can score this trip. We're under three to go, first half. Lucas got his man up in the air, but it was Holmes and those long arms, he couldn't get a shot away. And a traveling violation on Blackshear. That's good defense by Cheeks. Understand that Blackshear wants to get into his body. Look at the drive. Cheeks right here. Understand Blackshear wants to get into his body. He just simply moves away, pulls the chair, and there's nobody <laughs> home for Blackshear. Pulls the chair. That's exactly what it looked like. Bob inside trying to get it to Holmes. It was picked up by Davidson. It's been a while since Holmes has had a quality touch. This thing's going up. And in. And when you shoot like that, it should definitely go up. Lucas, confident score. 27 25, a 9 0 run by the Wolfpack. And their fans are making some noise. Holmes calling for he wants it. But Coleman's right behind him. Almost like a soft double team, making sure he can't get the ball. Elvis will try triple. Blackshear will bring it down. A minute 40 to go in the half. Nice ball movement. Thanks, Davidson buries it. That ball went from one side of the court to the other and back to the other side for the wide open corner three. That's an offensive clinic. Davidson 
He was having a great first half, and he buried the other three. Hasn't been a lot of turnovers. Added on a 12-0 run to have this five-point advantage with just over a minute to go in the half. Ray has got to give it up. That was kicked in midair. And if you're Dayton, you have to figure out a way to get home the ball, even though Nevada is trying to double. So with that kick ball, they get some shot clock time back. It was down to seven or eight, back to 20, with 109 to go. Here in the first half of this West Region first round game. Home is open. He was. Kobe Brea hit the opening three of the ball game and has been held scoreless since. Santos tried a long one, then looked over at the bench and pointed to his head as if to say that maybe wasn't the best shot. <laughs> Anthony Grant, Steve Alford, having at it here. Nevada put that nice run together in the last four minutes to lead by five. Let's see if Nevada can find a way to get in the middle of the zone. The middle of the zone is wide open if you can get there. Davidson up high, got it to go. Wow. What a first half Knicks having. Strong take to drive to the running hook. Got to love it. Virtually no difference in the shot clock and the game clock. If it is, it's maybe a half a second. Holmes, offensive foul. Boy, that's the last thing they needed to end the half. And that right there is because Holmes has been able to get the ball in the low block. So the last time, the next time he touched the ball, he was thirsty to score, made a bad decision. Quick jab right here. Extends with the off arm. Easy call to make. An excellent defense. And a nice job on Diaz. I was going to say Foster held his ground, had his feet planted. So the last shot will be the Wolfpacks. Blackshear on the baseline. Over Ellis. And then he looks in the crowd. What a run to end the half. 16 straight points for Nevada. We've got to show some force on defense, and our offense will come from it. You know, another thing they've got to get going is Nate Santos hasn't scored a point, and he's like a 12-point, six-rebound-a-game guy, and he's sitting on a goose egg. Here's Davidson, who started the first half hot. Santos, who I just mentioned, has a rebound. And I understand that Coach Grant is saying that he has they have to do things a little bit better and harder, but they have to be better execution. It's not about doing things hard, it's about doing things the right way. Even when Holmes catches the ball, there's there's no cutting action. Cheeks is standing at the top, they're loading up, they're doubling. And right now it's really, really easy to take Holmes away because he's just a standing target. Five to shoot. Let's see Brea lets one fly. Instead he goes down, trying to feed Holmes, and then a turnover instead. That's something else. Maybe he might want to run some. A pin down action or something for Brea. You see right here, Holmes catches it. Cheeks has to cut. There has to be something. You can't be down there all eyes on me and every and there's no action. There's the, the movement, the the function when Holmes catches the ball and before he catches the ball is not good. The ball, the movement, the cutting action it is not there right now for the Dayton Flyers. Cheeks on a drive, kicks it back outside. Santos, a little dish underneath, nice look. Got it to Cheeks. Now Dayton trying to come with a little bit of pressure defense. Nothing too flashy, just want to make Nevada get into the clock a little bit more, take some time getting it across. Well, that ends that Nevada run and the scoreless drought. For the Flyers, Davidson comes right back on the other end. Davidson's strong game continues. I like the way he's sealed inside against that zone. He's on his average right now. Corner pass. That's a tough one. Had to have eyes, and instead it was Davidson that picked it off. 
Black's years. That's his spot. That's his spot. He gets right there to arm smaller players and just pulls up. And look at him smiling, licking his lips. It's easy for him out here. So the lead goes to 11. Finally, they get it into the guy they're trying to get it to. And he draws a foul. I think they're going to call that on Himes. Watch whip around coverage of all the men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break, presented by AT&T 5G in the March Madness Live app. Download it now. So Deron Holmes to the free throw line for the third time today. is going to come out and Javon Bennett comes back in for the Flyers. And let's see who, who is Bennett guarding. He's guarding Blackshear. You already know what he's about to do. Let's see if that matches with Elvis on Blackshear. Mismatch with Bennett on Blackshear. And whistle. Foul's going to be on Elvis. Toby Elvis. Chief Blackshear getting his guys together. I think he's telling them we can attack the middle of that zone. That time that ball just kind of moved around the perimeter. Didn't touch that one three run right in the heart of the defense where it's very vulnerable. Lucas. And Lucas likes that matchup. That was how he got his first bucket. A nice pull up jail over Bennett. Right back to it. Size matters. Not a good shot by Elvis. Yeah, Elvis left the building on that one. <laughs> Blackshear weaving through traffic. He even got around Holmes. I mean, the confidence of this young man. Getting the crowd excited. Leads Wells to 13. Holmes doubled again. Got through it. Kicked it out. Brea for three. Nope. Times a rebound. You see Blackshear get it, put his hand up like, hey, hold it. Let's, let's run something good. We got him on the ropes right now. Let's not get a bad possession. Let's try to knock him out. Lucas. Lucas is saying he got fouled. He might be right. Bennett. Missed the layup. Davidson will clear it. And Blackshear again slows it down. You know, want some elbow action. Look for Lucas to get a pin down right here. Whoa. Great pass. Street. The extra pass underneath the Hines. And they have a foul on Holmes. Cats coming up on Saturday. KJ Himes, 6'10, grad student out of Phoenix area to the free throw line. Free throws are not his forte necessarily. But that one was. Is that like the reverse announcers, Jim? <laughs> I tried. I tried to do my best. Yeah. Man of the people. <laughs> I'm cheering for KJ to hit both of these. Can't, can't make them all. Devon Bennett brings it in. 14 point advantage for the Wolfpack. The 10 seed leading the number seven Flyers. Flyers got to get to work on offense to get some ball movement, get something going. That'll help. That'll help. Isaac Jack. Jack took his time right there, drops up to the baseline, and then reverse right to the other side. 
put that big body to use. Lucas rimmed one out. Flyers with a rebound. We're going to push it. That shot didn't go down, but an excellent look for Lucas. Just off a simple weak side pin down screen. Von Bennett looks over to Coach Grant. They go into their offense. Jack wants it again. Six seconds, he's going to have to go. And he will. Up, under, off the window, not quite enough. And then there's a whistle and a foul on the rebound. It's going to go on. Patagimus. I like this right here. Jack, strong take, goes right in the Honda's body. You see the drop step, pump fake, reverse on the glass. As a fellow big man, you know I'm proud of that. I know you are. I like seeing the big fellas do work down low. Sometimes big fellas want to float out to the three point line. Yeah. I like that. I like I was, that too. I was going to say, it's but kind let, of a lost art. Let me see, hey, listen, let me see some of that footwork on the block as well. They gotta get this guy open for a shot. But they don't, it's it's weird as you watch the Flyers play, they don't run any action for Brea to get open shots. It's like he gets open shots when they come to him. But they don't run anything in particular as you see a nice offensive rebound. There's no pin down action, there's no baseline screens, there's no flare screen. Gosh, he's 49% from three. Somebody should be screening for him. Well, they've cut it to 10 even without his shooting. Brea, that is. And we got a whistle with a foul. That foul, the second on Patagamus. Blackshear can't get that one to go. Now here's Brea. They got a three on one. Extra pass. Oh, and they miss a layup. Cheeks. Just got to make those down 10. Got to have those buckets. Just take your time. So this is basically a three on one, too. Ugh. Just rushed it. And he didn't need to. Now, still their ball. Bring it out to Javon Bennett. Santos still looking to score. Wow. He's had a tough day. Just can't find any good looks. Allison. Oh, wow. Tough day. Blackshear needs to get this thing to settle this down. Nick Davidson turn around from the free throw line. Again, the offensive rebound by the Wolfpack. Everything rimming out right now on both ends. Benny trying to run a pick and roll with Jack, see what he can find. And that pass picked up by Coleman. There's a reason why this guy is known as one of the better defenders in this conference. Yep. Read that perfectly. Excellent help side defense. Six straight misses. Is this one going? No. Fighting for the rebound, but fighting back. Try to keep Davidson. the ball high. Davidson's going to try three and rattles it in. And Davidson's shooting the three ball well, coming down the stretch of the season. Didn't start off the season shooting it well, but he's shooting it really good now. Oh, man, how many can Dayton miss at the rim? He not keeps at the free throw line. Still plenty of time for Dayton to make a run here as they had a lead of seven in the first half at 23 to 16. And then the Wolfpack went on that great, great run. Great trap. And that works. Turnover. Rollison turns it over. Excellent coaching strategy by Anthony Grant. Coming out at the timeout, mixing up the defense. A little bit of pressure came with a trap, generated a turnover. And the guy that turned it over comes out. And this is what you got to do. You're down double figures. 
You can't just hope things turn around for you. You've got to make it happen. Right. So Lucas immediately comes back in. On the drive, Cheeks Man. spins a little too much. Maybe if you'd have used the left hand, it would have been easier. Smoke another one. Cheeks not the, having a lot of success at the best. I was going to say, the rim hasn't been his friend today, that's for sure. Right here, cross courts it over to Lucas. Three. He hits third. He doesn't need much space, does he? Nope. Took him a long time. It took him till 3.45 in the first half to finally score. But I give him credit. He never forced the action. He no, he didn't. didn't. He understood the assignment. Oh, what a block. Oh. A block, but a foul. On Pope. Little handoff, easy assist. Lucas says thank you very much. And I like that action. As Blackshear is coming off, he sees that the defender is in the lane. Once you kick it, to, once you kick the ball to the wing, that dribble handoff. Now there's nobody over there to guard Lucas. That's what the leading scorers have not done today. And you talk about Nate Santos. I mentioned it at halftime, and the frustration continues as we're almost midway point in the second half, and the free throws aren't even going. Santos is it's not his finest hour. Uh -uh. There's still 10 minutes left in the game. There we go. Finally a point for Nick, Nate Santos. Who knows, maybe let him get him going. What? That's a violation. It sure is. I've seen that one before. I don't think I either. Brian. Not enough. Scrambles with a rebound won by Nevada. Lucas and Blackshear trying to run a two man game. Now Blackshear wants a one on one. Try to get around Cheeks. Feeds the base oh. for the slam. And Blackshear just makes it look e makes it look easy. Gets cheeks right where he wants him. Double is forced to come by Holmes, and then he reads the weak side. Deep, weak side of the defense finds Pope for the jam. Bennett can't get the three. And every time Bennett throws it into Holmes, he doesn't he doesn't relocate. He doesn't move. He just stands there. And Bennett can hit the three, but he only shoots around 31% from that area. They'll give him that shot as opposed to letting Holmes work one on one. Right. He has to understand that. You're open by design. Lex here threw a double team. Didn't get it to drop, though. Holmes will clear the glass. Boy, he draws a crowd. Here's an open look. And the three finally for Brea. Can't give that guy too many open looks in. They need to find him more. They're doubling and tripling Blackshear. I mean, not Blackshear. They're doubling and tripling Holmes. Maybe they should use Holmes to set a pin down for Bray and see if that can get those guys open. Bray, a better look. A 49% three-point shooter, which is just unheard of. It's well, it's tops in the country, but nobody ever gets to that point. I guess he does. And it's not like he's taking like two threes a game either. He's taking like six, as we see Lucas with the floater. Lucas all of a sudden with 13. Thank you, part 12. Legal screen by Brea. Look at this excellent play by Blackshear. Reads the double team. Quick no look. Pope on the weak side with the one hand jam. That no look just freezes Bennett and Brea just a little bit. And then on the other side, we see Bennett driving. Brea relocating for the three ball corner pocket. Eight and a half to play. Still a 14 point game, though. Oh. 
Cheeks is fouled in route by Lucas. Smart play by Lucas, actually. Nice job defensively by Davidson. Davidson stood his ground right there. Foster on the dribble almost lost it. Thought Lucas was going up with that one. They're going to look for him. They're going to send a nice little screen for him. Get open. Foster back to Lucas. Three to shoot. Has to put it up over. Oh, oh boy. An over impossible Holmes. shot. Over Holmes. I mean, those are the type of shots that just flat out take the life out of you. You finally get an excellent defensive possession. And then Lucas just stop, pops, and fades over Holmes from the top of the key. Holmes drop step to the baseline and is fouled. Trying to add to it from the free throw line. That's been his only points of the second half is from the line. And it's been tough sledding for Holmes. Just simply because of the, the defensive attention that he's been getting. They're fronting him. They're bringing a weak side defender over. And then when he finally does catch the ball, they're bringing double immediately. Got the second. And, and on the flip side, that's excellent defense by Nevada. Like, a guy averages 20 points a game, you're not supposed to let him play one. Right. Last year, talk about taking your time. He's too cool for school, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Keenan, the kick out. Pope's going to try three. Probably not the shot they wanted. But they have the luxury of a 16-point lead. Dayton's going to make a push. It's going to have to come pretty darn soon. Santos still doesn't have a field goal in the game. Holmes tries to get it. Sheets isn't cutting. Lucas with the double team. Brea. That's what they need. They need a lot more of that action. His third three. And his 94th of the year. Let's see if they win the rundown. They will. And they got numbers now. They need to take advantage of this. Didn't get a chance to. Unless that lane clears out a little bit for Duran, and it does just enough. His first field goal of the second half comes with six minutes to play. He catches that ball, he's in goal mode. Anytime he doesn't see a double team, he's so happy. He's, <laughs> he's making sure he gets it up at the run. Offensive foul. Be prepared for history. And a little conversation about the shot clock, maybe? Shot clock? Or are they worried, worried about that screen? They, they might be looking for a flagrant. Can't be. I mean, it's an illegal screen, but it wasn't flagrant. Our officials will have a look, and we'll take another look. No. Yeah, it was an illegal screen, and it was a screen that wasn't needed. If if Pope doesn't step into that, Elvis is trying to shoot the high side on the shooter, which is a cardinal sin, and Lucas is going to be wide open in that corner. That illegal screen was not necessary at all. If he just stays where he is, and doesn't move. Elvis is going to be forced to shoot the high side, and we're looking at Lucas getting a wide open three point jumper. Gene Steratore is with us. Gene, we welcome you for the first time. What do you think? 
I think we just have an illegal screen. I don't see that Pope is, I think he leans a little bit, Brad, but I don't really think it's rising to the level of what you would think would be excessive in its nature with the, with the, uh, with the bump. He definitely is late, and, and he knows he's going to make some contact, but I don't think it rises to the level of flagrant. Pope is built like a defensive lineman. Oh, yeah. So that definitely hurt <laughs> on the way through. Oof. And they're just going to call their common foul. So thanks, Gene, for the help. And Mr. Pope will sit. Does the Pope sit after a flagrant foul? Yes, he does. Yes, he well, does. in this case, a common foul. Good one. <laughs> the Flyers. Down 11, we're going to make a push here at the five and a half minute mark. Now trying to get it to Brea, but nice defense by Coleman to knock it out. Yeah, he plays the passing lanes like you were talking about earlier. Really good defender. Yeah, he understands weak side concepts very well. Some guys are good on the ball defenders. Some guys are good off the ball. He's good at both. Watch the way Coleman navigates around screens on the ball. Weak side, active hands, always looking to help. Holmes, quick step through Davidson, draws a foul. They go back to the line. That's a good take by Holmes. He got the ball. You see him seal inside, catch it. Look, once he sees there's no double team, he's gone. He's not waiting. He's not waiting. I know I'm not going to get a lot of opportunities like this. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage. Let's see if he can from the free throw line. Working on a double double, a rebound away. And he got a move. Back down to single digits, five minutes left. Here we go. And again, full court pressure. And Dana call a timeout. Use that and blur the passing lanes. Now here's the full court heat. Want to stay out of that corner. Anytime you see it's full court pressure, the corner is not your friend. Had a little trouble that time. Five minutes to play. Black here with six to shoot. That one hit both sides of the rim and popped out. They make it a 10-0 or 11-0 run. Dayton, the time is now. Got to keep the party going. Brea, deep three. Got it! Man. Kobe Brea. And you can feel that momentum turning. It's down to six. It was 17 at one point. Oh, and a steal from behind. Ball still loose. Everybody's on the deck. I think Lucas might have got a timeout. If it's a jump ball, it's Dayton's. And you're right, they got the timeout call. Wolfpack hasn't scored in the last three and a half minutes. They're going to need some more of that action from Blackshear. I think it's time for Blackshear to start calling his own number. Get to his area and just pull up. the ball. Blackshear wants a foul, but I see excellent defense by Holmes. Big fella really moving his feet. Nevada led 34-25 at halftime as we get another look, and he's lost the handle. Yeah. And I'm going to remind you, the Wolfpack this year was 24-0 and when they led at the break. They've seen their 17-point lead dwindle to six, maybe to three if that goes, and it does. Santos finally if there was ever time for Santos to start getting hot It's down to one possession game And a foul on Santos right after he hits the three And you see Elvis driving down the lane Lucas tries to flop and get the charge and it results in a Santos three his first bucket of the ball game 13-0 run for the Flyers
Now, if you're Nevada, you got to stay true to your principles. It's black cheers, Lucas. Either you're running a two-man game, some baseline screens for Lucas, see if you can get him open. Maybe Black Sheet is getting to his area. Here is Lucas with Holmes way out on him. Lucas likes his matchup. He wants the one-on-one. -on -one. He takes the three. Too strong. Rebound. Offensive rebound for the Wolfpack by Coleman. Give Holmes some credit. Last possession, he forces a turnover on Blackshear. This time he switches out and makes Lucas take a tough jumper. Big fella showing some perimeter defensive skills. Trying to double team Blackshear momentarily. He won't have any of that. Blackshear's taking his time, but the clock's running down. He's got to go. It's eight seconds. He's at the top of the key. Five now. Three, the three point line is not his, that's not his area. He's only hit five of those all season. Here come the Flyers. Chance to cut it to one or tie it up if this goes. It does. Brea. His fifth of the game. Wow. 56 all with two and a half to go. In regulation. I didn't have to say that a few minutes ago. Lucas turns and fires. Got it. Oh. Two points. Man. That is a tough shot. 17 for Jer Jared Lucas. There wasn't much space there at all. Lucas confident in his skill set. And one. Oh, and it goes. He stayed with it enough to get it to drop. And now he's got a chance for a three-point play. Holmes sets the screen. Prayer with the excellent pass. And Holmes going up strong. He went up to dunk it. And just the fact that he went up that strong, that's why he was able to get the and one. He went for the dunk. And when he felt the contact, he was still able to lay it in. The Flyers have not led since the first half. They do now. Wow. Anthony Grant wants a timeout. Nevada's not getting good shots. Even the shot they just got by Lucas wasn't a good shot. Um, I feel like you run with that in this, in this situation. In the NCAA tournament, when you have momentum, the crowd on your side, your, your guys are feeling the energy. Don't cool them off. Let's see if Nevada can get back in gear on offense. Blackshear on top. Guarded by Santos. Here's Coleman. Down low. Davidson working against Holmes. The hook shot. In and out. Touch Peaks with a rebound. Touched every part of the rim, too. Bring that ball back to home. This home's a prayer for me. Elvis lost it. It's got coming down the stretch. It's got to be for Dayton. It's got to be Holmes or Brayer. Everybody else, you get the ball when those guys give it to you. Last year, you know where he's going. You he's know where going he's going to the window. He's going to the mid range. The mid range Maven. Nevada back in front. Under a minute to go in regulation. Five lead changes, four ties. It's coming down to the last 45 seconds. Holmes got it. They're going to let him play one-on-one. -on -one. No, it's a double. Santos throws his shoulder, throws it off the window. And Santos have been scoreless for the bulk of this game. Now he's got a quick five points in the last three minutes. It's about eight seconds different. And then you see Elvis finding Santos, and Santos going strong. Puts it up, puts his chest, puts his shoulder right into the defender's chest, and then gets that ball up on the square. Eight and a half second difference, shot clock and game clock. For my money, I'm right now, if I'm Nevada, I'm running some baseline action or a pin down for Lucas. If he can't get open, I'm going to tell Blackshear, do your thing, big fella. We're going to ride you all the way home. Blackshear with the ball. Davidson working against home. I like Davidson. Davidson's got to find his guy. Oh, he's he's got to find his guy. It. And now a foul in the backcourt as Santos came up with a loose ball. Davidson's had a great ball game, but the closest for this team is Lucas and Blackshear. Got to understand who's supposed to have the ball at critical moments. 
Davidson tried to cross over dribble and just lost it. Right there. And then Santos is fouled. And he'll go to the line. Where he's one for two today, 74% on the season. Nails the first one. He picked a really good time to find his offense. Oh, yeah. It was missing the entire game. But he's hit two big field goals, including a three. And now this free throw could make it a three point lead with 15 and a half to go. Got it. Nevada, no timeouts. But Dayton has one, and they call a timeout. 15.5. You can't do that with 15 seconds left in the ball game. You have to play it out. If I'm Dayton, I'm switching everything. I'm not giving up threes, and I'm telling my guys we're forcing them inside the three-point line. If you're wondering if Nevada gets a good look from three, how have they done today? They're 719 outside the arc. And if, and if you're the Flyers right now, you can't let Lucas get a good look. He's the guy that you fear from three. You know Blackshear doesn't want any threes. He only has five on the season. Blackshear had to pick up his dribble. Five to shoot. Davidson lets fly off the mark. Rebound Coleman. Back. Blackshear, it's not his game. And it won't go. And the Dayton Flyers pull off the second half comeback. It looked like it was definitely going to be Wolfpack basketball, and that just says it right there. That fan clapping his hands as if to say we had him, and we let him off the hook. Look at this last possession. Davidson gets the three. Comb at the last second sees Blackshear, but Blackshear known for that mid-range game. That's not where he... Well, he really wants to shoot it from. They never got it in the hands of Lucas. And that was a problem for this team down the stretch. Not enough Lucas getting the rock in critical moments. Wolfpack, the 10 seed, their season will end.